A big hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. This is Big Brain and it is indeed my pleasure to welcome you to the third season of A Class Apart, the Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2022. It's a celebrative initiative created by the Padma Seshadri Bal Bhavan group of schools to keep alive and cherish and celebrate the wonderful life of an educator, a teacher, a mentor, Mrs. YGP. It's our pleasure and privilege to present this quiz to you, third year in a row. And over the last couple of years, this quiz has really grown in stature in terms of the difficulty levels, and this year is no different. But I'm not going to stand between you and this wonderful quiz. Presenting this series to you is a young lady who shares her name, incidentally, with Mrs. YGP, who is also known as Rashmi, as the name under which she wrote many of her newspaper articles when she was a scribe. Rashmi herself has grown over the last couple of years, leaps and bounds, especially as a host in the digital space in the pandemic uh, era that we were part of. She's in fact become the lady who has hosted the most number of quiz shows in this world on a digital platform. An alumnus of NITK Suratkal, a recipient of many awards, she is no new face to all of you who've been part of this quiz over the last couple of years. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, presenting before you the one and only Rashmi Furtado. <laughs> Thank you, Big Brain. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear students. Welcome to the third season of A Class Apart Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz brought to you by PSVB Group of Institutions in collaboration with TCS Ion and Cray Caps Knowledge Tribe. This is the third season of the quiz, and it was created as a tribute to a great educator from our country. All of us know this educator, Mrs. YGP. This was created to celebrate her and her contribution to the field of education. We have had overwhelming participation in this quiz for the past two years and we hope the trend continues. But for now, we are on the first quarter final of the third season of this quiz. Let me introduce all our quarter finalists to you and then we'll get into the rules of the game. A first contestant of the day, Abha Priyadarshini from DAV Public School, Kalinga Nagar. That's Abha for you. Up next is Srivats from DAV Senior Secondary School, Tamil Nadu. Samarth Yadav from Yuk Rukmini Devi School, Delhi. Up next is Shuban Singh from Sunbeam School, Varanasi. Following Shuban is Nilesh Khosh from Birla High School, West Bengal. Up next is Aman Manoj from Bhavans Vidya Mandir, Kerala. Up next is Keshav from Vidyaniketan Public School, Bangalore. And completing this lineup for us here today is Ankit from Presidency School, Bangalore. Alright, welcome to each and every one of you. Let me go over the rules of the game with all of you before we get into the quarter final. Eight of you are here with me here today but only four top scorers will qualify into the semi-final. This is all about moving you to the semi-final. Remember that. I have 10 questions for you. All of them are on the buzzers. Plus one if you get it right, minus one if you get it wrong. Single attempt per question only. Multiple attempts are not allowed. Okay? And as you all know, nothing is going to appear on your screen. And I will be asking your questions. If you press the buzzer while I'm still reading out the question, I will stop reading the question because you are indicating to me that you already know the answer. Alright? Rest of the rules have been explained to you already. 
Dear audience, we usually have a lot of fair play protocols that we put in place and our kids here are already aware of those protocols. They have been briefed about it, so they are aware of it. Time for us to move into the first quarter final of a class apart Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz. The first question of this quarter final, here we go. The wettest place in the world is Moss Syndrome in India. In which state is this town? Shuban, go ahead. It's quick on the buzzer. Meghale. Plus one to Shuban is absolutely right. Meghale giving him plus one. Doing very well. First question of the quiz and has already got his plus one. Let's move on to question number two. Who among these has written the epic Ramayana? Your options, Ved Vyasa or Valmiki? Nilesh, go ahead. Valmiki. Plus one to you, Nilesh. Absolutely right. Valmiki is the answer I was looking for. Moving on, the kids are well prepared. They are quick on the buzzers. Let's move on to question number three. What does BSE stand for in the world of Aman? Go ahead. Stock exchange. Repeat your answer, Aman. Bombay Stock Exchange. Absolutely right. Getting a plus one on that is Aman. Bombay Stock Exchange, the answer I was looking for. He did not let me complete the question, but like I said, they are well prepared. Moving on, question number four. In which city of Karnataka is the headquarters of ISRO located? Abha, go ahead. Mom, it's Bengaluru. Plus one to you. Bengaluru giving her a plus one. I'm on the fifth question, ladies and gentlemen. Let me complete this and after that, I will give you the scores of all of our quarter finalists. Question number five. In terms of area, which state is the smallest state? Samarth, go ahead. Goa. Goa is absolutely right. He gets a plus one on that. Scores as of now, ladies and gentlemen. Shubhan, Abha, Nilesh, Samarth and Aman are all on plus one. I somehow feel I may have been a little too lenient while setting this quarter final. But let's see what happens. I have five more questions to go and only four can qualify. Let's remember that. All right, moving on. Which of these towns is famous for its toys and it's called Toy Town? Keshav, go ahead. Ch Channa Patna Toys. Chan Patna is what I was looking for. Plus one to you. Absolutely right. Chan Patna is known as Toy Town of India, giving Keshav his plus one. Moving on. Question number seven. Belur and Halebidu are beautiful examples of what style of architecture? In India, Shubhan, go ahead. The very uh, Dravidian style of architecture. I need a specific answer, Shubhan. Dravidian is not good enough. Karnatic. Karnatic. Getting a minus one on that, uh, Shubhan. I said I require a very specific answer. The answer I was looking for is the Hoysala architecture. The style of architecture is Hoysala. It was, of course, the it was the uh, Halebidu, if I'm not wrong, was the capital of the Hoysala Empire, and that is why the style of architecture is Hoysala. In India, we are fortunate to actually have multiple types of architecture in different regions of our country, giving us a very rich heritage and giving me a lot of questions for a quiz like this. <laughs> Let's move on. Question number eight: Who among these were whom among these was an actor before becoming a chief minister? Your options, Jyoti Basu or M.G. Ramachandran? Aman, go ahead. Uh, M.G. Ramachandran. He's absolutely right. He gets a plus one on that. M.G. Ramachandran, the answer I was looking for, the former chief minister of Tamil Nadu. All right. Question number nine, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Wings of Fire is a book associated. That's good enough for them. Shuban, go ahead. APJ Abdul Kalam. Getting a plus one on that. He's absolutely right. He quickly makes up for the negative that he took. One question remaining. Let me tell you where they stand. Well, Aman looks safe. He's on plus two already. I have Samarth, Nilesh, Abha and Shuban and Keshav all on plus one. Last question remaining and I have 
technically i have three more spots remaining in the semi final unless of course aman decides to take a negative in the next question which i highly doubt the quizzers are usually very careful about uh, the chances that they take the last question of the quarter final here we go which of these is the highest civilian award in india abha go ahead plus 1 on that she did not need the options at all and abha gets a plus 1 Bharat Ratna is the answer I was looking for, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the quarterfinals. But I think I have tiebreakers to break here. Abha is on plus two along with Aman, and both of them make it to the semi-final. So two slots have been occupied already. I need to identify two more students from this lot who will make it through to the semi-final. All right. On the tiebreaker, I have Shubhan, Nilesh. Samarth and Keshav, all four of them are on plus one each. All right, tiebreaker question number one. Here we go. Which of these great publications featured Phantom in India? Samarth, go ahead. Indrajan. Plus one, beautiful answer. He did not need an option at all. Samarth joins Abha and Aman into that semi-final. One last spot remaining in that semi-final, ladies and gentlemen. The second tiebreaker question. Tiebreaker is now between Shubhan, Nilesh, and Keshav. Good luck to all three of you. Who was the first Indian to take over from British General Roy Butcher? as the chief of indian army your options field marshal manik shah nilesh go ahead field marshal karyappa absolutely right field marshal karyappa giving nilesh the plus 1 the much required plus 1 that takes him into the semi final along with abha aman and samarth Good luck to all of you. Congratulations first of all for getting into the semi final and good luck when you get into the semi final because quarter finals are usually just you know one step after this prelim but once you get closer into the semi final the quiz starts getting tougher and tougher. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for joining us here today for this quarter final, the first quarter final of a class of bad Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz. But don't go anywhere. There are three more quarterfinals remaining. Watch out for the next quarterfinal that will be coming up soon. You take care.